everybody welcome back to my channel you know I haven't done a thrifted upcycle video in about six months it, those were very popular videos last year. last year the way I did it is I just show you what I have I kind of tell you what I do and then show you the end result because what you find is gonna be totally different but people just love to see the before and afters really all right the first thing I want to show you is this little bitty wooden birdhouse uh, I always look for little things like this that will fit in tiered trays. I'm going to give that little cute birdhouse a makeover. This right here is kind of an antique cheese grater, and I'm not going to do a single thing to it. This is exactly the way I want it to look, but I'm going to hang it on my kitchen wall and do something with it, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I'm actually copying something I saw on a friend's Facebook post, a picture of her and her mother, and I saw this in the background and thought, I have got to find one of those graders and do that. So, uh, this big frame right here, this is uh, like a 17 by 23, I believe that's what it is. Someone gave my daughter this frame, she didn't want it, and I decided to, I've just been holding on to it for a few months, and I'm actually going to make it into a Mother's Day gift for her. So stay tuned to that, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I actually picked this up today, uh, thrifting. It's just one of those extra large embroidery hoops. I'm going to make my daughter a little spring summer wreath. I think I've shared this before, but I've had this for about six months and I was walking with my neighbor and it is just a bunk bed ladder. Perfect for a blanket ladder. So I'm going to make that over and put that in my den. Right, I got all my supplies out. I'm gonna paint my little house white with just some craft paint. And then I'm gonna decoupage uh, some of this scrapbook paper that's just some words on it on the roof of the house. And then around the base of the house, I'm gonna put pick some of these little spring flower stickers and stick around it. It will look like a little spring birdhouse. All right, this is a quick one. Here is my cheese grater. I got $3 worth of Dollar Tree floral, just a sprig of the grass, and two daisy bushes, and then any kind of little kitchen towel you have. I'm gonna put this all together and hang it up on the wall. All right, my next project is my blanket ladder. The first thing I need to do is take a Phillips head and get these metal brackets off. This is the brackets that are used to hang on the bunk bed. I've already wiped it down with Windex, so now I'm basically ready to paint. I'm gonna use a do-it-yourself chalk paint. I've used this many times. I'll put the recipe down below, but it's super easy to remember. Two to one. You can buy this at any craft store, Walmart, craft department, and just a splash of water. That's it. So it'll take two or three coats to get it completely covered. And then I'm gonna take this Waverly Antique Wax and rub all over it. I have I'm my using... chalk paint mixed up, and if you just want the exact measurements I had, I used a half a cup of white paint, a fourth of a cup of powder, and a tablespoon of water. All right, moving on here. This is my next project. This is the big picture frame that I'm making for my daughter. I'm gonna make uh, some more chalk paint for this, and I'm using a little two ounce bottle of granite gray from Walmart for 50 cents. And I'm gonna get two or three coats of the gray on there, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna put in the front. I love the color of the granite gray, and it may not even need a third coat, but I'm gonna let I'm gonna eat dinner and let that dry, and then my my ladder over here may need a third coat. I'm gonna heavily distress it with some sandpaper. I may just touch up on a third coat, but I wanted to show you what is going in my frame. This is some artwork that my grandson brought home a couple months ago. I'm really hoping my daughter forgot about it. I just fell in love with it when I saw it. I told my grandson that I was gonna sneak this home and I was gonna make something for his mama for Mother's Day and he loved the idea, but I just fell in love with all the colorful flowers and the vase and everything he did. I just can't believe a second grader did this. I'm just in love with it. I know my daughter's going to love it. Instead of going and getting glass cut, I was at Walmart one day and found the exact size uh, poster and wall frame that I needed. It has the plastic and the cardboard, and I'm hoping that this will be uh, an easy way to do it. And I may end up having to use another piece of cardboard just to help fill in the space since this frame normally has glass in it. We'll see. Um, I can come up with another piece of cardboard if I need to. So I just wanted to show you what's going in the frame. So and I'll finish the rest of the projects tomorrow. And now that my chalk paint is all dry, I'm taking a paper towel and my antique wax and just rubbing it all over the white paint. All right, this is what I'm using for my last coat on my blanket ladder. It's the Minwax Polyacrylic Protective Finish. I always buy the clear satin. It's very milky looking, very thin, and it just puts a beautiful 
finish coat on whatever your painted project is but here's what my blanket ladder looked like after the wax dried and I just took some sandpaper and went around the edges so it kind of some of the white shows through so it just kind of looks like aged barn wood I love the look of it a lot better than the original color so once I put that thin coat of polyacrylic on there let it dry and it'll be ready for inside and I brought my daughter's gift out here for two reasons number one it's so dark inside my house and number two this is not going in my house so I didn't really have anywhere to hang it but this is her finished Mother's Day gift and I just love how the distressed frame turned out I want to show you this is what I finished the frame out in is the Cryline Color Master Clear Satin Crystal Clear. I could have used the polyacrylic, but this was just as easy and I was doing this last night. I love how it turned out. Super colorful. I think she's going to love it. So I want to show you this as a finished project. For my next project is a wreath for my daughter and it's going to take me a whole five minutes to get it all, all hot glued together. Now I went and got some of this rolled burlap that I had, stretched it across to see how long it would take to catch on both sides and I'm going to open up the hoop and insert it just like you would fabric in an embroidery hoop and then whatever is hanging off in the back I'll trim that off. Now as far as uh, a word on my burlap I'm going to use these metal words that I got from Dollar Tree. As far as the floral embellishment it's going to be pretty much identical on the top and the bottom. I pulled two fern leaf, two small ivy, two English ivy, two little grass and then one big floral. You'll be able to tell the symmetry of it once it's all put together. I'm going to hot glue it all together and show you when I'm done. Alright, here is my daughter's finished spring summer wreath. I put it on this easel so I could get it to stand up so you could see it a little better. But I love the colors. It'll be perfect for her to enjoy for the next several months. It's super simple to do. One big flower, repeated design on the top and the bottom. It doesn't require any professional floral skills. Just make it pleasing to the eye where they kind of match. It'll turn out beautiful. So I think this is pretty fantastic for five minutes of work. Alright, I have put my little birdhouse that I gave a little facelift to on the top tier of one of my trays. Here I decoupage the top with the book paper. The little stickers didn't work out. I didn't like the way those looked. So I just took uh, some colorful Sharpie markers and colored some little flowers all the way around it. And I think it turned out cute. I like it better than it looked before. So it's a win in my book. And I'll enjoy this on my tiered tray. All right, I was going to show you where I put my blanket ladder. I put it in my back den here that is dark paneling. And unfortunately, I can't do anything about it. So I just have to work with it. But I love the farmhouse look. I love that it's a little different color than the paneling. So it does show up. I'm looking forward to enjoying this for a long time. Here is my last thrifted upcycle, my antique cheese grater. Turned it upside down and just put a nail through the other grated side. And a little ivy hanging on the side, tied some jute twine around, and then you can hang any seasonal little towel. And then you can also change the flowers out with every season. I love the use of antique kitchen tools. Just looks so cute in the kitchen and goes with the farmhouse style. So I hope you enjoyed all these makeovers. It's always fun and a challenge to see how they all turn out. I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.